watching you on YouTube. Yeah? And Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah, That's so cool. Yeah. Do you want to be in the vlog? Oh, yeah. What's your name? Sano. Sano. Sano's in the vlog. That's so cool. What the? Thank you. <laughs> My haters, what's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> are you oh, cringing? Why are you yeah, cringing? I'm going to fold myself into three. If my following is called the haters, what's the North Borders ones? Eggplant gang! The eggplant... Eggplant gang! Far out. What? We're meeting a model in about 45 minutes. Wait, no, shit. 10 minutes. Since when are we meeting up with a model? Hanging out with these guys. They make all these plans. They don't tell me about any of them. So I just kind of roll with the punches as they come. Oh my God. Sorry. How did you actually get in contact with this model? Uh, I just found her on Instagram. I just sent her a message. No, I actually thought you found her on Tinder. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is the location that we're going to tonight. I want to get a photo here. Do you even know what she looks like? Kind of. I saw some photos of her on her Instagram, but I don't... Well, no, I don't. No. <laughs> okay. How's it going? Nice to meet you. And this is I'm Hayden. Hayden. Apparently we have to have tickets to get into this place. Wait, so we can't get it actually at the place. You have to get it online, do you? Yeah, because it's like so high demand. Ah, f Why are we so underprepared? Mike, this is this is your domain. You're supposed to be the prepared one. No, I didn't know we needed tickets. No, Come on, this is this. your fault. Thank you. <laughs> it is I your fault. Shopping. You closed totally at 7 p.m. Why didn't we search this up? Oh, <laughs> this is the thing with traveling. It's so fast paced when you're not actually prepared. I just expect it all to be fine and we'll just guess and I just guessed this one completely wrong. Let's go find a cool location anyway. The lighting here is so sick. You want to go into a club? Girls? Is that a club? Look at it. 18. No. What the? <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I just realized something about this place is this is actually a road. It's not just like for people to come down cars can come down here as well it's the only problem at the moment but apart from that sick location so Aggie had some sunnies just before and she thought it would be really cool like as a prop for the photos but the other lens for the sunnies just like came off and we have no idea where it is and so we only have one lens it probably won't work but we'll figure it out <laughs> it doesn't even matter Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thanks for showing us around. See you later. Ah, that was a pretty successful shoot. Like well, in terms of the actual photos of. that we got, the actual photos themselves were good, but just the lead up, the build up to the shoot. Tell them what happened. Before we went out to the photo shoot, my microphone, because I wanted to make a vlog obviously of the day, and it was only recording out of one channel. That's the so worst. So I reset all of my camera settings. Setting my camera to RAW is obviously a setting, right? So when I do a factory reset, it sets it back to JPEG. So I did the whole photo shoot the whole night on JPEG. And it was at night time. At night time as well. And a lot of the images were underexposed. Shadows are easier to bring back than highlights essentially. That's why I like yeah. to shoot underexposed. But luckily, because of Sony's dynamic range on their cameras, the JPEG photos didn't actually turn out too bad. They weren't like got bad. one here. Like yeah. It's actually okay if those lights are a little bit overexposed, as long as your subject is exposed, because that's the most important thing. But the good thing about shooting in RAW, as we said before, is you're able to actually bring back those highlights so you can have your subject and the highlights and everything else kind of like within the spec... Is it yeah. called a spectrum? No, like the... The spectacle. 
The spectacle. <laughs> the spectacle, <laughs> man. Another photo that we took from the night actually was interesting because, like, she had her glasses. And she kind of looked like Lilo from Futurama. Lilo. Lilo. Lilo and Stitch. Stitch. Yeah, fuck. Every time that you say, like, an F word, it, like, sounds like you're going to say the F word. When oh, you really? say you get Futurama, scared? I'm just like, just don't swear for my channel, please. <laughs> I'll probably rate tonight's shoot. Apart from the fact that we shot on JPEG and everything. And her glasses broke. I'd probably rate it about a 7. A 7 out of 10. Question of the day. We need a Le Mans YouTube channel. It's not a question, it's but a do you reckon that Le Mans should make a YouTube channel? Le Mans, if you had a YouTube channel, what would you... What would be your first video? Just throwing you in the deep end here right now. Oh. You have to yeah, come up with something in 3, 2, 1, now. I don't know, probably like a time that's going to be doing homework. Because that's all I think. <laughs> that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe you can see it a liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome <laughs> hanging out with you again. And I'll catch you next time.